Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. <coughs> Good evening, Architect Leland Tay, President of Pertubuan Architect Malaysia, Council Members, PEM Past Presidents, PEM Gold Medalist Recipients, Members of the Media, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. The PEM Gold Medal for Design Excellence was introduced in 1988 and it's the highest honour that PAM awards to a corporate member of PAM or a practice of PAM corporate members in recognition of design excellence. This PAM Gold Medal seeks to recognise a distinguished individual PAM corporate member, group of PAM corporate members or architectural practice comprising two or more corporate members whose career has brought great distinction to architecture through a body of work over a sustained period of time which consistently demonstrates the highest level of design excellence. Nominations were invited from corporate members of PAM in January 2019 and submitted to the convener, architect Wu Lok Kuang, with architect Malik Hassan as the co-convener. The jury panel was convened with a quorum of five jurors consisting of architect Azumi Hazani Ismail, PAM president 2017-19, who is also the jury chair. Tan Sri Dato Sri architect Haji Esa Haji Mohamad, PAM gold medalist 2016, Tan Sri Architect Chan Sao Lai, prominent Malaysian architect, Architect Saifuddin Ahmad, PAM Past President, and Architect Dr. Zul Hamli An, PAM Past President. In the 2019 cycle, the jurors awarded the PAM Gold Medal for Design Excellence to two distinguished guests. And tonight, we are here to witness the conference ceremony and gold medal address of Professor Dr. Architect Jimmy Lim. Professor Architect Lawrence Lo Kong Yu is the other gold medal recipient as, and his address was held in Penang last October. I would now like to invite on stage Architect Leland Tay, President of Pertubuan Architect Malaysia, to deliver her opening remarks. Please welcome Architect Lillian. I hope we get this um, quorum for EGM tomorrow. A very warm welcome to all my honourable architect colleagues um, and also colleagues in the industry. Uh, I would like to welcome uh, Dato uh, Adnan from the president of ACAM who has kindly made time to attend our um, ceremony today. Uh, of course, also um, Surveyor Kwan uh, from uh, ISM. Uh, both are also highly, highly involved in our uh, GSB, in GBI, and have contributed a lot to uh, GBI as we have today. Thank you for making time to come. I think these uh, guests from outside of our industry. Um, thank you also to all uh, our other, other uh, guests here from the profession and uh, members of the media and um, friends and young architects. Thank you for taking time to join us tonight for the conferment of the PAM Gold Medal for Design Excellence 2019 and for the always awaited PAM Gold Medal address by the uh, medalist shortly. The PAM Gold Medal is the highest accolade conferred by PAM as the National Institute of Architects in Malaysia to honour excellence in design as exemplified in the body of work of the architect. In short, it does honour the best of our architects. Today, we pay homage to our professional traditions and to the architects who have devoted themselves to uplift the practice and art of architecture in Malaysia. I am delighted to formally announce again today, and this decision was already made last July, I'm delighted to announce that for 2019, the PAM Gold Medal for Design Excellence is awarded to architect Jimmy Lim Chok Siang in recognition of his outstanding achievements as an architect in Malaysia. <laughs> architect Jimmy Lim is certainly to, re to be remembered, and nobody ever forgets Jimmy after he meets, after they meet him. He is certainly to be celebrated for his work in pioneering and advocating the use of our own Malaysian timber in modern contemporary architecture. 
He showed us in his own design works and in his unique, inimitable design style, the relevance and beauty of our own Malaysian tropical hardwood. Without architect Jimmy Lim, we would probably be less familiar and we would not as much appreciate and value uh, our indigenous um, timbers, our chengal, our belian, the most precious of tropical hardwoods. Without Jimmy Lim, we would not have the contemporary tropical timber house that we have today. He is really the grandfather of all the beautiful um, tr timber houses that we have today. It is often said that star architects are those who have their own personal signature style. And indeed, architect Jimmy Lim is renowned for his very distinctive, unique architecture and design style that we first saw in his seminal works in the late 80s and 90s. I'm sure the citation will also say this, but this is at least uh, my view of uh, uh, Jimmy, uh, whom, whom we all know has been an icon in the industry since the 80s. His famous series of tropical timber houses, including the Lim House, the Yu House, the Chiu House, the Schneider House, and culminating with the Salinger House uh, in 1993, and scaling up to bigger timber structures, the Impiana Resort in Charating, also from 1993. Sadly, in 2015, the monumental timber pavilion, and I'm not sure how many of you have seen this beautiful pavilion on the beach at Charating. Uh, I, I do believe it would have been a potential national heritage building, an icon for Malaysian architecture. Sadly, it was demolished in 2015 due apparently to other development priorities and or a lack of appreciation and commitment to preserve and celebrate such groundbreaking works that so proudly showcase our local materials and craftsmanship and which deeply embodied um, our local Malaysian heritage and identity and its modern contemporary translation and um, expression in the hands of architect Jimmy Lim. Besides opening our eyes and heart to our tropical timber, and even clearer now in retrospect, we must acknowledge architect Jimmy Lim as one of the earliest advocates, one of the pioneering advocates for sustainability and for the natural environment back as early in the 1980s, together with his other sometime friend, sometimes foe, Dr. Ken Young. Both had similar good intention with different solutions. Architect Jimmy Lim developed his tropical timber houses, learning from time-tested vernacular houses that have no boundaries between indoors and outdoors, resulting in a new and contemporary architecture that respects our vernacular traditions, our um, traditional building typologies, and were climatically responsive and considerate and kind to the natural environment. His houses are characterized by their prudent and even frugal use of, of energy and building materials. And not only that, um, in having that respect for traditional building typologies, his architecture and, and work helped to promote the continuity of local craftsmanship and the livelihood of the, um, often um, disappearing um, uh, local artisan craftsmen and carpenters. Ultimately, his work is characterized by his early on respect and response to the climate and environment and his continuing search to define a national character for Malaysian architecture through the use of our indigenous materials and, and his innovative and unique transformation of these um, venerated traditional building forms and typologies into new and inspiring contemporary architecture. From his tutelage, we also have today renowned architects such as architect Lot Wee, and I'm glad he's in the room today, um, who, who after leaving CSL, who uh, I think worked with Jimmy for many years and after CSL has gone on with equal fire and passion that is obviously you know, in that office, um, has gone on to further develop his own distinctive architecture. So Jimmy has also um, been uh, a great mentor, obviously, um, to many young architects who had gone to his office. And Jimmy Lim is, of course, also well-known and respected, even feared, as one of the earliest advocates uh, for conservation and heritage in Malaysia. From as early as the 1980s, Jimmy was a tireless and fearless champion for conservation and had valiantly led many affected resident groups opposing uncontrolled developments, uh, apparent misuse of public land and green areas and um, you know, land zoning controversies and the like. 
He has famously or infamously dedicated his energies to resisting the international anti-tropical timber lobby in the 80s or early 90s um, to defend the right and the need for us to use and celebrate the use of our own uh, timber in our own country. From the 1970s, he has, been con he has also contributed actively um, to the work of PAM, culminating in his role as PAM president from 1991 to 1993. He is also known as a long-time advocate and ambassador for architecture in the region through his active participation in Arcasia and the CAA. And for those who don't know what that is, it's the Commonwealth Association of Architects, um, who, who, who maybe the younger ones may not be so aware of. His passion for conservation and heritage made him one of the key founding members of the Badan Warisan Malaysia the Heritage of Malaysia Trust in 1983, which is the earliest and probably the first uh, NGO to advocate the value and importance to conserve our cultural and architectural heritage in Malaysia. Today, Baden Warisan continues this much needed work to build appreciation and safeguard our local cultural heritage, in particular, our historical buildings. Architect Jim Lim was one of the earliest architects to be recognized on the international stage winning the prestigious Aga Khan Award for Excellence in 1998 for his now iconic Salinger House. He was also awarded the SIA, the prestigious SIA Gets Prize, uh, I think in 2015, uh, for his overall achievement and innovation in the field of architecture. This is a prestigious prize um, from the Singapore Institute of Architects um, and the Gets Foundation. So thus today, Pam is immensely proud to bestow our highest honour, the Pam Gold Medal, uh, to architect Jimmy Lim for his achievements, not just in conserving our precious historical buildings, but in preserving part of our national culture and heritage, and to take that to new heights in his own architecture. The Pam Gold Medal is a validation of architect Jimmy Lim's immeasurable contribution to the conservation of Malaysia's cultural and built heritage, and I wish to congratulate Jimmy Lim again on receiving the Pam Gold Medal, albeit eight months later than he should have. Um, <laughs> and and uh, you, we do um, accept and recognize that you've really been one of our most uh, dedicated and fervent advocates uh, for the national heritage and have not ceased to, in, in your, um, in your um, uh, passionate, advocacy for cultural heritage in Malaysia until today. Well, I think, uh, I suppose I should also mention that Jimmy has an amazing sense of humor, and uh, I hopefully we'll also get to enjoy that in his talk later. Um, I've had many run-ins with him, uh, both good and memorable, um, and I certainly must recall one particular one uh, where we had a bit of a run-in, where uh, I was sued for by Jimmy uh, for <laughs> for misrepresenting him, uh, because the funny part, the most important thing is to remember the funny part, because I spelled the name of the town wrong. I thought it was Bentung, and then later when when the suit and it happened, um, and and then I realized the town was Bentung. I was told, and I had no idea where Bentung was, and I was told a lady would not know where Bentung is. <laughs> So <laughs> anyway, I think all ended well, and we have, uh, you know, remained friends. I think indeed women don't know where Batong is, and that's why I spelt it wrong. So um, anyway, that was good. I think it's all, um, all, in in the, in the name of um, architecture. I'm sure um, that uh, all all the uh, controversies and um, that that. That have uh, been that he has often found himself embroiled in has always been done with great passion and great belief in what he does, and I think for that he has uh, always remained special to the profession for always daring to be himself. Um, and again, I congratulate you, Jimmy. Thank you for being uh, in your way, in your imitable way, an icon of architecture in Malaysia. Thank you, Architect Lillian. Mm -hmm. 
Architect Jimmy's nomination for the gold medal was jointly proposed by architect Chris Yap Seng Chai together with architect Yong Sao Wai and architect Anand Krishnan. I would now like to call upon architect Chris Yap who will deliver the citation of Professor Dr. G architect Jimmy Lim. Please welcome architect Chris Yap. Thank you, Dexter. Well, having heard Lillian describe uh, Jimmy, it actually take guts, take guts to propose him as the, and nominate him as the gold medalist, you know. <laughs> you know, get sued or something like that. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, good evening, uh, fellow architects, students, you know, past presidents of PAM, presidents of the Light Institute. It's an honor for me to be here, and uh, it's more of an honor for me to be able to deliver this citation for architect Jimmy Lim, or as we know him, Jimmy, for the PAM 2019 Gold Medal. The PAM Gold Medal is the highest honor awarded by PAM to recognize lifetime achievement in architecture by Malaysian architects, whose careers have endowed the profession with great distinction, have promoted either directly or indirectly, the advancement of architecture in Malaysia and abroad. The 2019 Gold Medal is awarded to architect Jimmy Lim Chok Sang. Jimmy Lim, to us, is a well-respected architect in Malaysia. He is known and admired for his work, his thoughts, and is, without a doubt, the country's, one of the country's most significant architects of his time. His career, ladies and gentlemen, which is still going strong, had been a long and distinguished one. He was born in Penang, Malaysia, and received his early education at St. Xavier's Institution. After his architectural studies at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia, he arrived back in Malaysia in November 1972, and six years later, in 1978, he established his own practice. His four-decade career has covered the all scales of design, from master planning to architecture to interior design to furniture and product design. It has also encompassed, ladies and gentlemen, the breadth and depth of design, from new works to renovation to ad adaptive reuse to conservation and preservation. This work has been widely recognized locally and internationally by way of eminent awards and prizes. In 1998, his Salinger House was awarded the prestigious Aga Khan Award for Excellence, one of the highest and most prestigious awards for the architectural world. Jimmy's architectural influences has been a fusion of the organic work of Frank Lloyd Wright, Japanese traditional architecture, and the patterns of the traditional Malay house on stilts. He mixes these influences with inventive structural and spatial configurations, and does it with a fun and free willing spirit. The resultant work is never completely modern or traditional. In reality, it is an imaginative blend of both. The work, ladies and gentlemen, expresses a strong belief in the typology of elements, in nature, cultural ecologies, context, climax, local technology, and materials as well as a craftsman's way of working. All these impulses and ideas can be best seen in his own house in Taman Suprete, Kuala Lumpur if you have been there. The house is a perpetual state of renovation with piles of brick and bed at every corner. Artisanal doors and windows prop along walls, lots of timber planks and salvage items from building sites lining the main circulatory path to his living room. It is, ladies and gentlemen, a laboratory of sorts for his experimentations into his architecture. It is very rustic, 
cozy and tropical. But please uh, bring your mosquito spray when you're there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the house and projects like the T.Y. Chu house in 1984, the Peter Yu house in 1988, and the Salinger house in 1992, among others, portray the architect at his best. With over 100 projects to date, his body of work seen in retrospect has a clear and distinguishable pattern running through it all, giving rise to the steadfast Jimmy Lim style. This style expresses his main ideas about the tropicality in architecture, have been tested bits of his experimentations and are unique examples of one man's vision and imagination for Malaysian architecture. Complementing his achievements in practice, is his equally impressive contributions to the profession through his involvement with PAM, the country's Institute of Architects. Apart from his involvement in different committees over the years, he had served as president of PAM from 1991 to 1993, contributing to many enduring initiatives and policies during that time, which is still running now. Jimmy had also been a prolific writer. His articles for Majala Architect, which he was editor-in-chief over the various years, are as pertinent today as it were at the time of publication. His writings covered professionalism, practice design, construction, authority submissions, theory, the past, the future, and just about everything that affected the profession. If something bothered him, he would write and opt uh, at and it would be published. No hesitation about that. When he was not writing, he talked. He had lectured and given numerous presentations at various functions at schools, civic groups, institutes, both locally and abroad. He had been on boards, committees, NGOs, and numerous other voices. His contribution to these voices of architecture had been exemplary and wide. One of his brightest achievements, ladies and gentlemen, in this regard, was setting up Barisan, Badan Warisan in 1985. From a small group of like-minded individuals championing and advocating heritage and conservation issues in Kuala Lumpur and Penang at that time, it has now become Malaysia's leading national heritage NGO. That period of its active involvement was notable and exemplary for its energy and presence. If this gold medal award is retrospective of his career thus far, it will be best and fair to say that Jimmy had been an exemplary and distinguished ambassador for Malaysian architecture and architects, and certainly for architectural in general in the local scene, if not international. He is still as passionate about architecture and just about everything that it encompasses, as he was when he was a fresh graduate. His flamboyance and charisma have never wavered. He is who he is, a creative and committed man of passion with love for architecture and nature. Jimmy Lim, ladies and gentlemen, is an outstanding architect whose passion for architecture and everything about it is balanced by innate talent and strong determination to see something true. His dedication to ideals and his profession, his advocacy and leadership among, along with his continued curiosity make him, which we all agree, a worthy recipient of the 2019 PAM Gold Medal Award. Thank you very much. Thank you, Architect Chris. I would like to invite architect Leon Tayap 